Hello and welcome to another episode of Metal Effort. My name's Nehemiah, and today we're going to be doing a head-to-head-to-head free-for-all battle royale for the best kind of mid-size, heavy-duty-ish Spyderco knife. Our contestants are the classic PM2, which I'm sure is going to be the favorite going into this. We have the new kid on the block, the shaman, and we have kind of the forgotten redhead child, the Manix 2. So I've got a few categories here that I'm just going to rate which one of these is best. We'll give a first place, second place, third place in, in several different categories. I've got six different categories. And then we're just going to add up the scores that each knife got. And it's kind of golf rules here. The lowest score is the winner. And we'll see how it all shakes out. First category I want to mention is the blade cutting kind of capabilities of these knives. And this is going to be highly subjective to the particular task that you're looking to do. Uh, so keep that in mind, you know, if, if you're doing heavy duty stuff versus slicing stuff, you know, your personal answer for this might be different. So adjust accordingly. My third place is actually the PM2. Uh, it's, it's a classic shape. It's very useful. Uh, you know, we're, we're comparing three excellent knives here, but I'm not a huge fan of the lack of flats. I mean, if you kind of turn the knife a certain way, there's flats, but it's pretty much like all belly and then tip. And I just prefer to have a little bit more flats going on than just straight belly. Uh, not a big deal, but I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. Second place is the Shaman. <laughs> this is a more traditional, you know, the shape between the Shaman and the Manix 2 are very similar. This is just such a big, beefy blade. For my personal use, I don't need it necessarily to be this, you know, bulky and stocky. I'm not batoning with this knife. I'm not doing anything crazy. I, I do around the house cutting, EDC cutting, some fr food prep from time to time. And just this blade shape for me isn't really all the best. But, you know, I, I got to give it to the Manix 2 because I think it ends up having the most versatile blade shape and thickness. The thinness of the Manix 2 is quite a bit better than both of these knives. The other two offers the PM2 starts off a lot thicker and tapers down to a much tighter, thinner uh, point at the end. So they end thinner here on the PM2, but start thinner on the Manix 2. And I think I prefer this. It's more even cuts. You have a little bit more flat, subtle belly, a very useful tip. So surprisingly, I, I'm giving it to the Manix. The next category is the ergonomics. This one is really easy for me, actually. I'm giving the third place to the PM2. I think what really hurts this um, compared to the other two options, still very comfortable knife on the whole, is just how flat and smooth the scales are. And it's not making up for that in other areas enough compared to the other two. It's direct comparison here on the, the Manix. You have a little bit more defined, you know, finger craters here which, you know, it could be worse if you have like weird hands, but for me, fits like a glove and this just snugs in a little bit better than the PM2. So the Shaman is gonna get first place. This is third, this is second. Shaman is first place because it has the contoured scales. That with really good placement, very similar placement to what's going on with the Manix 2, not quite as exaggerated, uh, but the the comfortable you know finish on the on the scales as well as the contouring easily puts this in the number one spot for ergonomics. Next category is the action, and it's it's hard because you know a particular knife might have a weaker or harder detent. I I am kind of mentally scarred because I did get a Crewwear PM2 that had like a wet noodle detent that. Of all the, you know, spidey hole flickable knives that I've had, uh, that was the only one that had a really bad detent. And so I'm just going to take that as like a lemon. So if PM2s are this good on the whole, I, I'm easily going to give the number one to the, the PM2. That That's a standout, really snappy detent, really easy to disengage. Action on this is ha hands down the best. The... Compression lock on the Shaman is going to beat out the Manix in the action. The The problem that the Manix has with the action is that you have the little ball that's inside here 
It's kind of like an axis lock, but there's a little ball that has constant pressure on the tang of the blade. It's not really going to be all that easy to see. It's kind of deep down in there. You can see it there. And that that ball, it's almost like a, a <laughs> not a detent ball, but um, something similar to that, just always pushing up with tremendous pressure up against that tang of the blade. It's still flickable. You can totally do it, but you can definitely feel that constant pressure with the Manix, and it, it slows down the action a bit. And on the Shaman, you know, it, it's such a big blade, it's a little bit harder to move the big blade, but the D10 is, is strong enough that you can still do it. And then the easy access on the compression lock is just going to make it fall shut. Uh, so easy, one, two, three on action. Next, we're going to judge the portability of this. I'm just calling this the EDC kind of uh, section. So we're, we're thinking about, you know, how it carries in the pocket, the weight of it. My third place, and I'm kind of switching up <laughs> which order I'm going into, so keep, keep you on your toes. The third place is going to go to the Shaman. Uh, biggest reason is just how heavy this is. This is over five ounces. Um, I mean, it's kind of what the knife is trying to do, so we'll, we'll cut it a break. I'm going to weigh these, but while I do it, I'll talk about the clip. So the clip on this is just so far down. It's very shallow combined with the weight. This is the third place one. Second place is going to be the Manix. Weight-wise, it's a little bit lighter than the Shaman. Uh, I have a deep carry on this. Uh, even without the deep carry, you have the clip starting at the top of the knife instead of underneath the, or combined with the, oopsie, the lanyard hole. And so this beats over the Shaman simply because the clip's in a better spot and it's a little bit lighter. The best... EDC knife is the PM2. It's the lightest of the three. The lanyard hole is still in a bad spot, but it's just kind of next to the clip. So if you get a if you get a deep carry aftermarket clip like I have on the PM2, not really that much of a problem. So this one wins in the EDC category. Next category is maintenance. This is how easy is the knife to disassemble, clean out, and put back together. Third place on this one is definitely the Manix. The Manix 2 is a little bit more complicated with the whole kind of spring-loaded ball thing. I'm sure there's a real name for this, but I don't know what to call it. Uh, this is kind of a pain in the neck to take, take apart. I'm not saying it's like difficult per se. It's just finicky and kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know like there's lots of ways for this little black part to fall out and put it back in backwards or the little ball that's in there just falls out when you're trying to put the knife together and you chase it down stick it back in there it's kind of a pain in the neck to take apart you got a lot of screws um, the other thing that's kind of an issue is the lanyard hole this is a thing on the, the Paris 3 and the PM2 where it's hard to get the scale to go back over that lanyard hole. It's kind of a pain in the neck to snap it into place. It's very tight. Um, Third. Second is the PM2. Uh, again, same number of screws. You have the issue with the lanyard hole. It's a little bit cleaner to get in there because it's compression lock, which is a very simple you know, mechanical thing. It's pretty much like a liner lock just flipped upside down. Uh, so this gets second. Third place, it, or first place rather, is the Shaman. Uh, this is great. This is really quick and easy. You only have, you know, the the three screws, but the, the uh, stop pin is actually just the pin. You don't have to screw that in, so that's easy. These two are both holding the back spacer. Everything lines up easy. You don't have to worry about, you know, pushing the scale on top of the lanyard hole. It just goes right on top. This is like fueled strippable in very low amount of time extremely easy very simple locking mechanism that's quick and easy to put back together and service last category i have is durability uh third place i'm i'm gonna put in the pm2 and i know this is a lot of people's favorite knife and my logic is there's just not as much metal on this as part of why this is so light there's steel liners, you know, for sure, but you just have thicker, more heavy-duty steel liners on the Manex. You have the whole lock area with the giant 
basically a reverse or front-loaded backspacer, you could say. And so this is all just adding to a very bank lock type feel on the Manix, where this is a little bit chintzier feeling. Uh, not to say that it's a weak lock. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just comparing the three. I think this one uh, just doesn't have as much steel going on. And obviously steel is going to be more durable than that G10. Um, and that's why this gets second place over the PM2. First place is definitely going to be the Shaman. The thickness of the, the blade is absurd. The pivot is gigantic. Big old washers. Uh, everything about this also feels like it's just a bank vault locking up. Um, I think I think this is even more durable because it has the the reinforcements and just the thick steelness of what's going on here with not so many finicky parts on the inside that could go wrong or give you issues. Um, mechanically speaking, I would say this one is better than that, but in terms of just overall you know strength of the the scales and the blade and the lockup i feel like this is still beating that so uh third second first so how's that all shake out let's add them together the shaman is sitting at 10 overall and the manix 2 and the pm2 are tied at 13 so according to my little rating here the shaman is the best pick out of the three and the Manix 2 and the PM2 is a wash. Whichever one just looks cooler to you. Or if you have a, a preference over EDC, uh, maybe go with this. If you care more about the blade shape and the durability, maybe go with this. Uh, really can't go wrong with any of these knives. They're all excellent. I'm keeping all three. I, I, I enjoy using each one uh, in turn. And it, it, it's fun to have these kind of knives on hand. They're very reliable, do exactly what they were designed to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I hope it was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.